it's June 19th and right here you can see I planted the beads uh, March 18th so it's been about 90 days I think and I'm gonna harvest the beets right now you can see um, there's the roots over here let's pull it up you can see the bead is small not significant at all let's pull up the other ones and see yep the same thing it's not not big it's very tiny this one is not non-existent at all This one is tiny too. So I pulled up all the beads as you can see. And right here, it's all the leaves we have. Ooh, a ladybug. A ladybug larva. Anyways, um, you can see mostly leaves and stem for the beet and here I pull up a few one to compare you can see this one that's that has the tiniest um, size for beet this is just probably premature and then right here to this one it's probably the best stage to harvest them you can see the size of the beads is way bigger and look at the stem it's just started to develop and this one over here has developed a very thick stem and you can see the beet is no longer sizable and this one is on the extreme end you can see the complete stem development and how the beet has disappeared the, the root has disappeared and yeah most of it um, are just about the same size just very tiny so the moral of the story is I harvested the beets a little too late and they should be harvested um, way earlier before um, the stem develops into that shape so yeah I cut off the leaves and right here you can see I don't even have a plate full of beet and here we just have a bunch of leaves they're edible so I'm probably gonna do something with them So here's the root and um, the leaves are over here. I kind of uh, harvested kind of the top of the leaves, like the, the younger leaves, and I put them over here with the flowers. Maybe I can try to eat them, I don't know. It's just at least something I could do with the beets since I don't really have the beets roots. salad or something it's probably not gonna be tasty either way 